Session Peter Yaroba, Bunny Girl Sampa no Yumi wo Minai, or Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Sampa, is licensed and produced by Aniplex, Hakuhodo, DY Music and Pictures, Nagaya Broadcasting Network and Kodakaba. Studios, Koloa Works, Networks, ABC Animation, Tokyo MX, Gunma TV, Toshigi TV, BS11, Metele, ATX. Based on the works by Hajime Komijida, please support the official release. Hello there, YouTube Jack here with more Session Peter Yaroba, Bunny Girl Sampa, Yonomi Mumi, Nice, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Sampa, Episode 12! <gasps> Second to last episode. Wow. Honestly, I can't believe that this season's almost over. Like, you know, the, the whole fall season thing. I mean, it is close to Christmas, but still. Honestly, just just a little bit surprised there. So, yeah. What a... Blah, blah, blah. Speech. Last episode, uh, we had started Kaede's little story arc. I mean, we've been building up to her in a way, uh, you know, mentions here and there and so on and so forth. But yeah, so she once again started going outside actually for the first time since she doesn't even remember having ever been, ever having been outside, which was also quite the bomb to drop on us, the fact that she has memory loss. Someone pointed out in a comment to me that it was a little bit foreshadowed, which I didn't deny last episode, I simply said that I don't remember any specific instances per se. I would probably recognize them when I rewatched the, sorry, the whole show. But, you know, not from the top of my head that I would recall anything in particular. But, you know, it does really worsen the situation of a lot of scenes, like uh, their parents talking to Sokta, for example. Because apparently she has never met them. If, or, you know, maybe she has sort of out in the hospital. I don't really know how much she remembers in that sense. Or what happened since, but you get the idea. So, yeah, that happened. Also, her, symptom, her symptoms are a bit resurfacing uh, from the stress, so to say, I guess. At least, you know, like, she had that one thing after answering the call from Mai, so... But she made it outside, and she's doing pretty well for herself, so no immediate relapse here. Although the encounter with a former classmate whom she doesn't recognize might do something. I don't know, we'll see. So, starting this episode in three, two, one. Well, no immediate relapse. Oh, dang it. Instant. Great. Okay. No physical marks, but we put the we push the reset button again. Isn't that just dandy? No, it is not. But at least we have a huge obstacle to clear now. That's also not good. I love this opening, but it's way too upbeat right now. <laughs> also, there's so much Shoko in this opening, but actually she doesn't even appear that much. And we're not gonna deal with her until the movie. So, there's that. Oh well. So we have two more episodes for Kaida to go through. Which means this one is probably going to be tough. I mean, assuming that, the la that they sort of, for lack of a better word, fix her uh, in the last episode. We have a lot of angst to go through this episode. Or is this... Oh! So we are repeating? Uh, not re flashback, that's the word I was looking for. Or not? Or really, I'm really not too sure.
No, 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 uh, flashback. I'm having a lot of trouble speaking today. It honestly doesn't sound so much like the usual adolescence syndrome we've had. Well, what's she gonna do with the new volume if she doesn't remember reading the previous one? I mean, that's not really that surprising. Nope, nope. Now they're back. Yeah, no, she is like not doing well. So, but this is the past now or not? I, I'm so lost. Like, he's re... Oh yeah, then there was that part. Shouldn't that be, like, extrusionally painful? So, yeah, we are def at least definitely in the past here now. But is he just talking to them regarding what happened to her, or did it happen again after all? Once again, fun trivia. I mean, it would make sense that he would tell them what happened now that he dropped the bomb. Very different from the sector we know today, huh? Fair enough. I mean, it's kind of wet and, I don't know, salty. Well, that sounds great and foreboding at the same time. I mean, was he not a kind person before? Or maybe more carefree, perhaps? <laughs> well, you're an amazing person, ghost apparition thingy that we don't really know about. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, why not? Well, that's one way to look at it. The kind of person, huh? And that's how they moved here, so yeah. So yeah, no, she at least has met her parents. So is that why she always refers to herself as Kaede? That's steep. <laughs> like, no, seriously. Well, for better or worse, I guess they would merge in a way. Like, she wouldn't forget her experience up to this point. Yeah, you know, status quo is God. <laughs> Were we already December? I keep forgetting the dates. Well, maybe... Or that. Again. <laughs> I've said it before many times, but I so freaking much love their chemistry. I guess a whole the character interactions in the show are great. Being adorable. That's what she's doing. Well, you're all eager, huh? I do wonder though if they're really cramps. I mean, for someone who doesn't do any physical activity and then does a lot, it's possible, but eh. Kaede and Kaede son, huh? Wow, so like really a long time, huh? Well, now it's kind of. <laughs> well, at least we're using quotes to differentiate between uh, this one and the previous one. Oh. Yep, a bit too much. Yeah, once again, for better or worse, huh? So, that's not Snow White. Yay! At least we have the big brother. <laughs> so, no full factory reset. Wow, I like the full team. Nope, that's still Kai there, yeah. <laughs> Still though, I feel like it's not my fault that I got confused there at the beginning. Mm. 
and it was a bit all over the place. Well, that's not something you should be overhearing. Fair enough, honestly. But she's pretty chill being outside, isn't she? Second on the list. Visiting school? Yes! Yes, sir! <laughs> hmm. Well, that's nice and dandy and all, but... Uh, you know, she's been pushing herself and collapsing and whatnot, so it's not too... Stable. I mean, fair enough, honestly. Scared of? Well, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I'm honestly somehow happy that Nautica is still sticking around, like, just, she's kind of around, you know? Well, you live and learn. You actually have like school counselors? That's neat. No, like really, I'm a bit surprised, but neat. Yeah, you know, set your own goals. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe on a on a weekend when there's nobody there or something. Setting out for yourself, brave girl. Well, it's not a weekend. Probably, I guess, unless they happen to be about on a weekend. <laughs> well, you made me laugh, so... Why are you even going with the elevator now? Yeah, you know, on pace. And people? No people. Wow, like, that's growing fast. <laughs> and now she's bolting. <laughs> okay. That doesn't sound bad at all. 
Well, yeah, you know, giant spots across your body. You kind of tend to notice those, those sort of things. This chase frick determined. Well, short breaks are important. Well, is it okay with that many people around? Well, I suppose so long, they so long as they aren't students, it's fine. Gonna visit my shooting place. Or the zoo. The pandas? Something? Yep, that works too. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, now she's dragging him around. Isn't that great? Honestly, you came at a great time that they aren't just sitting around and sleeping. Or that. I'm really not that much of a panda, so forgive me for being wrong. Just listening to this music makes me happy. <laughs> Couldn't they, like, easily jump out of their cage there? Nah, they're still gonna be here tomorrow. Ooh. That must have been freaking expensive though. <laughs> Yeah, like, seriously, you have to come a lot for those things to be worth it. Although it's like therapy to her, so it's really worth it, I think. Pudding? Just don't drop it. I feel like they were glass. Is it now? Or do you have another scheme? Because you're you know, a schemey one. Is that a word? Schemey? Scheming. <laughs> People? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. Although you're technically breaking an entering, I suppose. Well, the first two remembers. What's with the sappy, happy music that just makes makes me feel all the feels? Hmm. 
Well, yeah, I think so. Which now, contrary to what I said at the beginning, makes me worry about the last episode. Eh. I'm worried. Way too happy. Well, no spots. That good? Please. Well, that's a completely different tone. Very different tone. Do you not the least bit recognize, though, that you're in a different room? Oh, nope, never mind. That's a terrified expression. Well, so much for my opinion that she wasn't gonna go forget. Stupid show and messing with me! Ah! Ah! I'm gonna watch the ending. Did you really just have to pull that one? I said it too. I said I was anxious about the last episode. Fool me one, shame on you. Or something like that. At the beginning I was like, oh no, what is this episode gonna be? No, it was calm and nice and goals accomplished and all that. Great. But then you're gonna pull a fast one and have me worry about the last episode. So, uh, Wow, and you know the voice actors are doing a really amazing job for this anime as a whole, just throwing it out there. <laughs> like we've had the the, the, the uh, body swap thing with Maya and Nodoka and now this like complete personality, well not a complete switch, but this very happy cheery person to, well, I don't really know what to call her. She kind of sounded bored, if nothing else. Yeah, she still called him Onichan, right? Well, what did she say? It was Onichan, wasn't it? Uh, come on, come on. Say it. Well, yeah, she's Onichan, which is. Awfully cute way for her to address it. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out her entire personality based on like five sentences here, so give me a break, okay? <laughs> I mean, again, Sakta pretty much said that uh, it's just, uh, God damn it, like her mannerisms were different. Like, the way she held a chopstick, the way she ate food, just the way she did things, and apparently the way she talked too, you know. Which is, once again, huge props to the voice actor for immediately conveying that we're dealing with a different person. It, just in a frickin' good morning on each one. Isn't that actually pretty frickin' impressive? I mean, yeah, it is, but I really don't know what to do with this information now. Uh... God dang it. God dang it, yeah. I, I love really the way this episode fooled me. I mean, at the beginning, I, I was all worried. Oh no, this episode, and now she forgot everything. Except no, we were just sort of dealing with the recap. Grant, I could have maybe been able to tell from her room. Let me check real quick. I mean, yeah, okay, the room's different. And she wasn't wearing the panda thing, so... Maybe I could have been able to tell, okay? Though it, it feels like 
maybe a bit much to ask. Maybe other people didn't fall for it, or maybe other people. Maybe there was no falling for it, and I'm just an idiot for misinterpreting it, but. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm not at fault. In any case, like. I was all worried at the beginning, and then I. Oh no, it's fine. We're just. We're just recapping what happened to her, and. Now we're dealing with this, and it's happy day, and school, and the zoo, and everything, and now you're throwing me a curveball like this for the final episode. The pacing's amazing, by the way. Like, this doesn't feel rushed at all. This kind of makes me want to check something out real quick. I mean, how many volumes of this light novel are there? Oh, that's still ongoing. That's actually brutal and disappointing. I really thought that Shoko was sort of going to be the final thing that we deal with. But seems not. No, yeah, that was a very... October 10th was the most recent release. Uh, Letter Backpack. Yeah, we definitely have not dealt with that. And for what it's worth, the ent entire title is only misleading because it's titled after the first volume, which was, you know, my as the bunny girl. Like, the, literally, the second volume is Little Devil Kohai, Logical Witch, Idol with a Sister Complex, House Sitting Little Sister, A Dreaming Girl, so that's Shoko probably, Girl Experiencing Her First Love, Sister on an Outing, and Girl with a Leather Backpack. It's actually amazing that this thing doesn't even have a consistent title. Other than, you know, Rascal does not dream of. But beyond that, the fact that every title is different, kind of amazing. Rather than, you know, just numbering them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But it does explain why the title feels so completely disconnected from the actual show. <laughs> For better or worse again. But yeah, I mean, it kind of felt like the movie with Shoku was going to be the final wrap-up of the series as a whole, but there's definitely more to be had afterwards. I just thought, you know, the pacing was amazing in the sense we kind of did everything. We had Mai as the lead character at the beginning. We've had uh, Futaba, right? Yeah, sort of as this continuous side character. Then the uh, Koga and Nodoka, sort of this in these in-between characters. They didn't really appear before much. We, I mean, we had Nodoka like on TV once and uh, Koga appearing with the butt, butt kicking thing. But you know, no major appearances. Maybe that was different in the novels, but at least not on the anime. And then Kaede, again, a reoccurring character as the final person. And then the final final, we have Shoko that didn't really fit in the anime, but with a nice movie wrap-up kind of thing, that's what I thought, you know? Like, Shoko was sort of this red thread we had throughout the show, first just as this girl that helped suck her out, then as this actual physical person that appeared but younger or something. So, wow, that, that thing came out in 2014. Neat. In any case, this might get a second season eventually. I mean, we've had just uh, one, two, three, four, five volumes, uh, one movie, one, two, three. Uh, if they want a bit of padding, then it's gonna take another like three years or so before we get it, but potentially, potentially we get a second season. <laughs> Material seems to be there, we will see. Anyway, that'll have to be all for now, so until next time, see you then. Bye!